I'll bet you 50 bucks that I can do this entire island and dungeon in one episode. I am 100% serious and not entirely joking because that's ridiculous. Yeah, seriously. Definitely not a totally impossible thing at my skill level. <laughs> totally. Uh, I don't think there's a reason to break that one. That doesn't, that doesn't do anything. I need arrows to get the one up there. I love the song here. I love the, the dragon roost. <laughs> this is a beautiful uh, song. It gets stuck in my head a lot. Like a ton. There's a few songs that I have in my brain that just... Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Maybe not listening close enough, and I usually do the, the audio cue. Throw it! I don't know, this is just one of those songs that just pops up in my brain, like, just all the time. Love that beat. Oop, come on. Oh, that's some Sidlin. Oh. Oh, no, that's right. Whoops. Excellent work, if I do say so myself. There you go. Now I can get up forever. Well, when I pull that out, but whatever. Hey, look, a birdman. Hello, is that you? It is, I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that your sister's dead. No, I, I didn't mean that by that. Look, I, she's just still kidnapped. I would like to meet your chieftain. That'd be great. Goodbye. There's just, a, you know, different video game universes, different things work differently. And in Zelda universe, it's just kind of a, it's just like a, physics work differently. And if you're ever living, if there's an ever a, a, a volcano or a mountain where bad stuff is happening, you'll get a cloud around it. That's just kind of how it works. We don't, we don't have that here. The laws of physics work differently in Zelda. Okay, so this is weird kid, and I don't know what his deal is, but uh, I must talk to you. Well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Valu's anger? That's that's what we were talking about, not him. You are Arlo. Quill has told me about you. A troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. Let me get on the mountain. We should do everything in our power. However, in the meantime, we have a problem we're going to deal with. Personal stuff, huh? Did you notice the uh, raging dragon perched off the mountain? Oh, it's a little hard not to notice. We take to the skies like a, like a, like a Zora takes to water. It's weird. Valu has grown unpredictable and violent. Sadly, we can no longer poach him. His son wants a scale. No one will be able to fly ever again, which is weird. Yeah, you want me to talk talk to someone? I'll talk to him. That's a stupid idea. <laughs> that may be. Let me be direct. My son Kromali is of the age to earn his wings, yet he is weak. In some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. That's pretty rough. What say you? Will you share some of your courage? Sure, I, I got courage to spare. I'll do it. I'll do it. Go find Medley. Bill is giving me bags. 
Too many bags. <laughs> just put this stuff in my quest stuff. All right. Oh, Medley, where are you? Are you through? Uh, oh, there she is. <laughs> wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Arlo, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant of the Great Sky Spirit Valley. My name is Medley. Get it? Like a medley? Like a song? Yeah, I don't get it either. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm still not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. It's another bag. Sure, I will place this letter into my bag very purposefully, carry it to him, and then give it to him. The room in the way in the back of the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. Please don't get offended. He's gonna call you bad names. His room is very messy. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Come to the entrance to Dragon Ridge Cavern later. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whoops. I'm eager to get to that dungeon. Because I'm gonna beat it in one episode. And the clock is ticking, man. Clock is ticking. Where do all the other people live? It's like one bedroom in this whole place. Uh, maybe they'll roost somewhere. <laughs> it's a scary door. Yo, bro, I got a letter from you, pop. Um, give me that ball. We'll save some time later. Oh, right. You're going to make me do that whole thing. Okay, I get the bag, and then I put it to R, and then I do that. You're in this letter, too. Wow, he wrote that fast. I'm pretty nosy, actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, I man. I'll put on some nice music. Give him a, a little back rub. Rub his shoulders a bit. Maybe uh, make him some tea. I know how to calm down a dragon, man. I've done this before. Is it, is it, is it, I, this is it, right? Give me that. <laughs> Push him down and just take it. Oh, thanks, sucker. Oh, do nothing here. Do nothing here. Yeah. We're literally talking in your bedroom while you're laying in bed. Come here, do nothing. I'm gonna go do something, jerk. <laughs> now we go meet. Medley outside, medley, medley, singing a medley. Whoa, don't fall. And then you waste all your time because you went too fast. That's what you do when you're me. You waste all your time because you want to save a split second. Ugh, I could do that mail sorting game. I think I'll pass. Is this, oh, is this right way or is it the other way? I think it's the other way. It's definitely this way. No, wait. Hey, oh, you gotta go. Yeah, okay, you gotta get the other way. Or we do this. Ah, oh, come on. Psh, dumb. <laughs> this is America. Guy can't backflip off a balcony. Can it be once? Is it just right? No. Uh, I don't need to go up there until later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Those birds. Some cry silently, just like. Rawr. I'll do the noise for you. That's the sound they make. 
What do I do over here? Where? Where do I go? She wanted me to meet her. Okay, no, it must be from the bottom fl no. Bottom floor? This is back room. There's nothing. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, you coming through there. That's his room. This is where I'm going. Ten minutes in. Already halfway done with the dungeon. Right? Totally. I don't have a bottle. Where do I get a bottle? Did she give me a bottle? I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need help desperately. See this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then Great Valu, and he was all mad, and then it was rocks, it was a bad deal. His rage had shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. I certainly can. Where's my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? He was a jerk. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the Peaky Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, so I could get up there. Sure. <laughs> I don't think so. I remember this took me a long time, and I don't know why it was so hard. Maybe I just, like, couldn't think to get on a platform or something? I don't really know. I just remember, like, taking a long time. Just gotta get right here. And not yet. Wait for it. No! Yeah. Maybe just the very first time. I just didn't notice that ledge. Just threw her into the edge over and over again. I think I'll be able to climb and meet the Great Valley now. Bye. Uh, no. <laughs> If anything happens to me, look after Prince Kamali. No, I don't live here. I'm not gonna do that. This is not my deal. It's a very convenient item. Sure, it'll be our secret. Okay, I got an item down here. I put the bottle on. All right. I do this. Gonna go back up here. Whoops. Whew. Gonna do exactly what I'm supposed to do without having to figure it out at all, because that makes for great let's playing. Probably does, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's more fun to watch someone play something that you that they know and that you also like I don't know, I probably wouldn't watch a let's play of a like I don't know. I guess I watch game I don't know what I'm trying to say. Whatever. It's not fun to watch someone try to figure something out for like a super long time. I mean, with a game this good, I guess what, that's what, okay, that's what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't watch a game this good. Like I'll watch a let's play of a game that I don't care about playing, that I don't ever plan on playing. But uh, for something like this, like man, you can't, you can't just watch it. You've got to play it. So if I'm watching a game like that, that I, you know, that I played before, I don't want to, I don't want to watch them fumbling around. Watch him do it. This is tricky. This can be tricky sometimes. Wha. And I don't want to be fumbling around. But that's just me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like a Zelda game? Like, you you, you can't. You gotta. Oh, rah! Gotta play it, man. Gotta play that, brah. Woo! Yes. Gonna go to the temple now. It's only been 15 minutes. I I can do it. And 45 more minutes, hour long episode for sure. Definitely. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just blast through this dungeon. I know it like the back of my hand. Let's go. I love how the first dungeon is like a fire one. Like how like how often does that happen, you know? Pretty cool. 
Gonna kill a guy. Speed running this dungeon, man. Speed running. Only problem with this game, I guess not even. I mean, Twilight Princess was this way too. It's kind of annoying. Um, ooh. Is that they fall on the ground, and then you're like waiting. You have to sit there and wait for them to stand back up again before you can keep hurting them. And like, that's no fun. Oh, it's already burnt. I thought I had to. No, whatever. Oh, I do need to do this, though. So. Uh, I kind of thought that was going to happen. Yeah, Twilight Princess, I feel, is particularly bad with that, with their Bach Goblins or whatever. Like, you just got to wait for ages. You're just, like, sitting there. just like, And, like, later you get the finishing move. But I think that might not even always be a... <laughs> Whoa! That was pretty cool. Not always an option. Anyway. Small key. I got a key. I'm going. Let's go. See, that was like... That was like 40% of the dungeon already. <laughs> that was nearly all of it. <laughs> just breaking through human skulls like it's nothing because I just die oh, whatever every single one of these was a person <laughs> don't care so this uh, is doozy of a puzzle right here it's more just like teaching you how to do you know how to do stuff I envy those who, oh, oh! So that's a thing. <laughs> that happens. Watch out for that. I just, <laughs> it's just, okay. Forgot that there was just gonna be a gigantic column of pure lava fire that was gonna shoot up and kill me. Good to know. No. Took me too long, so now I gotta wait for the next one to come. Come on. Could have made it like six times by now. I envy those who have not yet played this or who play this for the first time. Or any Zelda game. Or like a Zelda game in the first place. I was just like, man. So good. They're so good. Yep. You can only play each one for the first time once. That is depressing, you know? I mean, that's the problem with when you wait for years. We wait five years for a new Zelda, and then you play it in a week, and you're just like, oh, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait five more years then. It's cool. Ugh. Map already? I like that. Yeah, just totally a bummer. Totally a bummer. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> oh, there are very few ways I could have messed that up. I, I found him. Found a great one. Uh, I can do that. Gonna be a goopy man. Come on. Come on. Jump down here. Ah. Jump over me. Bye. See you later. Oh, gee, I wonder how am I going to break through that? That guy did not even stand a chance. It's a bummer. Oh, wait. Is him over here? Nope. Do we go over there? Do it. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Link is really strong. Doesn't have to swing at it. He just throws it at it. I can use the. Ooh. Red chew jelly tastes so good. Gonna make some jello. 
And then whenever uh, whenever this path runs dry, I can uh, take this key back to that key door. That other spot. Thank you. Let's see here. That is not how you do it. Is it? Oh, I'm gonna use a rock, that's why. Don't you? Isn't that how you do it? Pretty sure. That is a weird, that is not something they usually have you do. Like shooting them, yeah, but like with a rock. I feel like that could have been one of those things that would have taken me a while. Oh look, it brought me back. Take me a while to figure out, just cause it's like, really? I throw a rock at the bomb to make it go off? Kind of weird. Like no hearts in these human skulls that I keep breaking. There's a heart. Zipping through this dungeon. It's weird that it only takes one hit. Even this early in the game. <laughs> Always trying to, trying to get a layup on me. Thank you. Thank you. Going, I'm going. Gonna do it. I wonder if it is possible. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe I'm, I'm not remembering how long this dungeon usually is. If you like, you know, if you know where to go and stuff. I don't know. Oh, uh, we'll see. This one I will not forget. I think, yeah, burnt part. Hey, let me just touch this ladder. It just got blasted by it. fire, lava. I don't even know what's going on there. This is not a thing that happens. Okay, I'm gonna get his feather. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna not let the feather fall off of the world. Nope, come over here. It's nerve wracking. Eh? Huh? Oh, it didn't even give me one. <laughs> Lame. Oh well. All right, let's just settle super slowly. And hope we don't just get completely blasted with lava. That's plenty of time. <laughs> Didn't even start bubbling again. Okay. Gotta blow that up, but I can't yet. This was super cool when it first... I mean, like... Even apart from the stealth aspect, just like being able to like slide along the wall and then like go on a ledge and crawl along the, it just felt so natural. It felt so much more like Link is actually in this world <laughs> doing these things, you know? He's not just like, well, whatever the game designer lets me do. So he's kind of like, no, I'm gonna climb up that thing. At first glance, this appears to be some sort of puzzle, and then you realize it's really not. I don't think there's any way to mess it up. You just keep pulling. And it just works. Like, oh, you just gotta pull the right blocks. Like, no, you just pull them all. Oh, yeah. This was something I had never used to do. And I don't remember what it does. Is it just rupees? I think it must just be rupees, but oh, whoa! What do you want? Hey. Yeah. Have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? Share their store of treasure. Yeah, maybe it's just rupees, but I don't know. We'll see. Actually, that'd be fun. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the items. I'm gonna get some bait. I'm gonna put it right there. See what happens. You don't deserve that. Delicious. Oh, sell it to me, of course. Eh, I'm, I think I'm, well, this early in the game, sometimes you can get in a situation where you're just like, <laughs> I have so few hearts, even if this is easy, if I get hit a little bit. Uh, sure, a red potion, absolutely. Why not? Gotta spend our rupees on something. 
All right, that's fine. There's probably like a bunch of those in the whole game and I just like never notice them. I really don't know. This is the only one I can like really tell you is here. <laughs> Before they like introduce it and they just forget to put more elsewhere. They're like, oh, this would be cool. <laughs> and they just like, oh, that's the only one. Um, oh, I don't have a key, so I have to go that way, okay. Works for me. Teach me about throwing stuff. Whoosh! Man, is that, it is just like made out of cardboard and just soaked in kerosene. I wonder what's gonna be in here. I'll bet it's uh, another compass. Oh, it's a key, I didn't see that coming. Oh. Whoops. Blasting my way through this dungeon. Do, 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 whoosh. That's cool. I'm, I'm doing it, man. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this episode. It's going to be great. I think I am. I think before I thought it would take longer. Uh, but it won't. Ooh. Come over here. I want your feather. In case you haven't played this. In which case, stop watching. But if you haven't, they give you feathers. And you need, like, ten feathers. But you don't fight a lot of these birds is the problem. And every time you fight them, it, watch, the, yeah, yeah, that happens. <laughs> Man, that's dumb. That's dumb. Whatever. It's easier later when you get the grappling hook. You can just, like, pull it right out of them. It's just, uh, it's just like a nuisance. You gotta, go, like, go out of your way to find them. Instead of right now, where I'm, like, seeing a bunch of them. Sorry, there we go. Alrighty, that's like that, and oh, it's a bunch of bats. Kill him with a fire. Take it. Come on. Don't know why I'm doing it this way. Oh, there is a door to go through. Oh, they're so annoying. Get out of here. Hooray, joy pendant. Like, I can't get one of those out of every Bokoblin I literally ever see once I get the, uh, grappling hook. Oops, never mind. <laughs> I still need that. I'm bad at this. Oh, yeah, okay. Here we go. This part's a little more tricky, if I recall. Warpy McPiperson over there. Or no, that's a different room, isn't it? Yeah, that's a different one. I'm thinking of a different one where you have to, like, make the platform. You just run across this one. And it's great, and everyone has a great time. Good room. Good, good level. Come here and let me kill you. Thank you. Lots of pots everywhere. I remember being like, I mean, <laughs> this generation has just been the generation of Zelda remasters. Whoa! I mean, this, this generation, the 3DS Wii U generation, every single Zelda game except for Skyward Sword has been remastered, and that's because that is the most recent one to come out. Uh, it's funny, though, because when the just the Wii was out, I was like, why did have they not put Wind Waker on the Wii and put motion controls on it? Like, I thought that, that would have been really cool. And uh, I'm sort of at the point now where I'm, like, a little bit less, like, you know... Like, Skyward Sword, the motion controls were cool, but, uh, I'm a little bit less now, like, like, this is great. I think, you know, like, gyro aiming pretty much makes it. Like, that pretty much is, like, fine. I don't really, I used to like, I used to just enjoy swinging the sword, or the Wii Remote to, like, swing the, but it's really, like, that just kind of gets old, so 
Really, the gyro aiming is all. It's more fun to point and aim with like a bow and arrow, but the gyro is fine. It's better than. It's it's worth it to. Uh, oh, treasure chart. It's worth it to not have to use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, you know, which is like, oh yeah, I got to be able to point at the screen and and uh, and all that stuff. And then you get the items of the touch screen and the map, and you get it all in one place. There's more bot goblins right there. I just gotta remember how to. Oh, God, here, though. Yeah, there, there was a time where I was like, why have they not done that? But I guess that would have been a little silly. Well, I guess they did it with like Pikmin, the Pikmin games. They, they just, uh... Ooh. They just, you know, even though it was just the next generation and it wasn't even better graphics or anything. <laughs> he was hiding from me. They still just put him on the Wii just to do it, just to give him motion controls. Not exactly sure why. So now it's more worth it. Now it's like, oh, well, we can put him in HD at least. Yeah, this is, this is better. This is better than if they had just stuck it on the Wii. Same resolution, <laughs> you know, same everything. Oh, this is a pain, just because that guy's a pain. He's hard to kill on that stupid platform with limited time. Okay, now he's fine. No, it's because he, when you stun him, never mind. you just do the finishing move, and I completely forgot that that was how you do it. Gotta get over before that melts, no. Finishing move is how you do it. Go me. This can be a little tricky sometimes if you miss, but I, I don't know. I guess not bad. Zelda dungeons are cool. Like, there's a lot of different like design stuff that I'm like, oh, I can, you know, I could do that in games, or like I could write a game story, or I could, or the plot, or whatever, but. Or like a general adventure game. I but something about Zelda dungeons, they have this like perfect like progression thing where like you're always like it's kind of a big sprawling thing, but you're always being led to the next part, so it's never usually confusing. They're very intricately put together, you know? It's like an adventure game in general, like a Zelda like the world itself is very intricate because it's it's all balanced by the items that you get. That's how you progress and stuff. But then it's like, even on top of that, each individual dungeon is like a whole little self-contained adventure by itself. It's cool. Like, that's what, that's what's awesome about Zelda games, you know? I love it. It's, you don't get that in a lot of other games. And that would be very, I feel like it would be really hard to effectively make a dungeon, like, just to plan it out. Keep it all, I don't know. I am pretty, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do this. It's only been like a little over half hour, and I'm definitely gonna finish it. I thought between the dungeon and the uh, first part, you know, like getting to the dungeon, I thought for sure. Hey, you guys, could you hit me like once or something at all? Oh, the joy pendant. Moblins are a bit harder. Because when you knock them down and they get back up again, they will punch the poop out of you. And their range is really, really big. Whoa! See, you got me right there. There's a whole heart. What? That was baloney. Oh man, if I get hit, I'm actually gonna die. How about I just go for it then? You're gonna block, because they'll just be like, whoa! Yeah, it's so funny about Zelda games, they only get harder. I mean, easier as you progress through the game. The difficulty gets harder, but the hardest part of any Zelda game is the first part. Even if everything's pretty easy, just because you only have three hearts, three mistakes, and you're dead. This off putting accessory. <laughs> I remember the first time I played this, and uh, he, he left the wong, the ball thing, and I'm just like, what is this? I'm like, Trying to grapple it, I'm like, what do, I, what do I do with this? Oh, you just hit it, there's stuff inside. You came to rescue me, oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. Oh, this is terrible. 
some creature is doing awful things to the Great Valu's tail. Oh, he's just like dipping it in mayonnaise and tickling it and just like all these sorts of putting bugs on it. All this uncomfortable stuff. The tail hangs down to the room right below here. There's gotta be something in there. One of those mean monsters who catch me has to deal with it. We've gotta do something now before it's too late. Before what's too late? He tantrums himself to death. So in case you didn't know this, the uh, Zoras uh, apparently evolved into uh, into these guys, these Rito, which is interesting. That water-dwelling creatures, when the entire Earth is covered with water, take to the air. Maybe it's because it's salt water and they're fresh water. I don't know. So she's like, oh, before we evolved wings, so like you unevolved the water and uh, made a grappling hook in the in-between stage. I don't know. Grapple, okay, I got, yeah, 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 I know. I'm a pro at grappling, man. I'm a grappling man. Gyro aiming for the win. Do, 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 do. Blasting through this dungeon. Gonna. <laughs> They're like, She's like, oh yeah, we gotta go save Valu. Uh, Valu. I'm like, oh yeah, kill Valu. Got it. No, there's a see, there's a monster. Yeah, go kill the monster on top of the mountain who's roaring everywhere. Yeah, let's go kill him. No, L Link. Uh... <laughs> Does he know what he's supposed to be doing? Get up there and I just fight Valu. Let's try to kill him. Ah, take this, you terrible dragon. <laughs> Take that. You stink. Oh, that was totally awesome. Um, anyway. He's like a, <laughs> his whole career, he's been waiting for this moment. And he's just like, oh my gosh, I've been training for months. Link is going to come by, and I'm going to kill him. I walk in the room, he starts falling. Oh, he trips and falls off the bridge. I love it. Uh, am I supposed to get down? I think I am. Totally. Whoa! Kind of looking for something more along the lines of a boss key, but uh, eh, I mean, that's just me. Alright, so if you want to get back up, you have to use the pillar over there. Mini bosses, yeah. Alright, cool. We're done here now. That's nice. Is all this here built like just to get up to Valu? Like, uh, like, what is all this? Who built all this? There's usually like a reason. It's like, oh, it's a shrine or a temple. This I'm really not sure. Oh, uh, I gotta. Oh, okay, yeah. Can I kill these keys first? Nah. Shoot them in the keister. Get it? And now I'm a pinata for these cases. <laughs> oh no. I'm trying. Oh no. Oh! So close now! <laughs> okay, well, at least they don't make me fall. I guess I could have just changed direction, huh? There we go. Whoops. No, no, no. Whew. I'm not going backwards, am I? No, of course not. It's a very similar room.
Thank you. I needed that quarter of a heart very badly. Okay. Hello. Come here. Try to bite me. I dare you. That was weird. It gave me the counter prompt, but didn't actually. Oh, I probably need to use you for. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. Okay, give me another one. <laughs> Come here. Tr try to bite me. I won't kill you, I promise. Whoop, oh, one more. Oh, he's all. Oh. See, but then it kills him. But he was too far up. I couldn't stun him. Okay, okay, let's do this. Come here. Any day. Any day but Tuesday. I'm busy that day. I really loved being able to, uh, like, drop with one button and throw. Like, I like that. Instead of, like, you have to be moving to throw or not moving to not throw. Or whatever. Hooray! I'm gonna go beat the boss right now. I'll bet that I can uh, beat every dungeon in one in one video each. I'll bet even the last one. It's so absolutely not true. This one was a stretch. <laughs> I mean, not too much of a stretch. I I'm about to, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. Come here. Come here! Uh, and then I fall. And die. It's fine. Just my butt burned off. Quarter of a heart. As long as the keys didn't respawn, I'm fine. Up a little. It's like I know I only have to hold forward or like one direction and he'll he'll swing. But I still feel compelled to like go back and forth with the stick as he does. <laughs> Even though it means nothing. Woo! Because that one paid off. Anytime, thank you. Up, please. Uh oh. Ooh, wrong way. That way. Got to navigate back to the bus door. No. Uh, And then we wait. We do this. And then we win the game. It's like one of those weird flowers. There's like weird jungle flowers with it. Looks like, uh, uh this way. Whoa. <laughs> wow, you built the bridge fast. You're a great builder. You should be a builder instead of a fighter because now you're dead. Not so good at fighting. I do go this way, right? To for the bus. Think so. That wasn't a door on the other side of that bridge, was it? I don't think so. I think this is correct. Gonna do it, gonna do it. Oh yeah. Gonna beat that big old bad bad boss and hope I don't die. Sometimes it's the easiest thing in the world. Sometimes you just kind of, especially when you're, especially when you're doing a let's play, and you just kind of get in a weird thing, and you just keep messing up on a dumb thing. What's going on with that guy? Oh, uh, I wish I didn't have that red potion because fairies are way better. Stop! What are you doing? You didn't see me. Fine. Fairies are better because, like, you know, you don't have a lot. Of, when you only have three hearts, you don't have a lot of time to drink a potion. 
It's fine. It's not going to come up. I'm sure. That guy just does not care that I'm here. Fine. I don't care that he's here. Give me I missed. <laughs> oh my gosh. There. Jeez. Now give me whatever's in here. Oh, it's a hamburger. I'm hungry. Nice crest. Can't wait to get ten of those. Probably a fairy in one of these, but I only have one bottle. I have not saved yet. I'm gonna save. Yeah, this is definitely save. Uh, please continue playing. <laughs> yeah, I would like trip on the power cord and so if something happens and I lose my end. I'm like, oh, and I haven't saved yet? Okay, that's it for Wind Waker, guys. See you later. Not playing anymore. <laughs> now, when I... Uh, it's easy. That is fine. This is usually like pr like really easy. You just do it super fast. It's early boss. It's definitely trickier than most early bosses, though. I mean, like, there's, like, a trick to it, you know? It's not just, like, Goma. You're just like, oh, you hit it, and then you shoot it in the eye, and then you hit it. This takes some doing. So cool. A really good introduction to this game. Really good first boss. I think just right off the bat... I am not that heavy, but whatever. Yeah, I think, um, I don't know if I just couldn't figure out the thing in the middle or what, but I remember this being really tricky the first time. Give it a second. They should, like, they should make you, ow! He's a rock hit me. That's weird. Yeah, this should make you wait longer. Like before the tail comes down, just to make you like fight him. Cause then you just, uh, you just do this. Just do it like three times. He pushes it back up and his tail like threads through perfectly. It's weird. So why doesn't Valu just move? What a weirdo. He's like, no, this is my chair. This is my favorite chair. I'm not moving. See, <laughs> it's just, don't do anything. You just do this. Really cool and epic, though. Oh, yeah, I need to take a picture of him with my Picto box. Not really, though, because I'm not going to do that whole thing. Sorry. Uh, come here. Give me your eyeball. Whoops. Give me. Give me. I'm going to go in that lava. I'm not careful. Take that. I did it. <laughs> Uh, I did it in one episode. You owe me $50, dear viewers. Uh, to make your payment, you can just uh, PM me for my uh, PayPal address. And <laughs> you didn't think I could do it. You, If you're more familiar with this game, you might have very easily thought I could do it. You're like, yeah, of course you can. It's not hard at all. Not even anything to brag about or make bets about. I'm still not gonna walk on that for a while. Maybe like a few weeks or months or something. Eh. Yeah, whatever. Oh no, my three heart run! I got a fourth heart, I ruined it! Just kidding. My shoes are melting. I'm melting. This is not the sort of thing you can walk on that fast. But that's video games, right? Video game logic. Look, okay, no, I, I swear, I, I just, uh, he, oh, oh. <laughs> she's like explaining it to them. Like, you let a kid get killed up there? No, I swear, he might not even be dead.
But that could have warped me anywhere. It could have warped me into a vat of lava. Arlo! Well, Prince Komali, don't you have something you want to say? Have my glowy ball, I guess. If I have to. I like it. Din's Pearl, right off the bat. Need something? Grip that smack. It's gross more I can look at you. I don't know what that means. I think he is. Well, I am quite the true hero. Thank you for watching this episode of Arlo Plays Wind Waker. I totally did it. I totally did it in one episode. Awesome. I will make sure to always do such perfect, clean cut sections of the game. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Arlo. You're so welcome, Medley. Now scamper off. Scamper off over there with your little thing. <laughs>